All right, let's take a look at our um, new unit. We are taking the second half of the measurement unit in uh, Math Makes Sense 4 and making it its own unit. Uh, measurement is still part of what we're doing, but now we're looking into measuring shapes and not time. Um, and it continues, though, with our same big idea. Measuring things can help us to compare and solve problems. And today we're going to work on measuring and recording area of a variety of different shapes. What is area? Area is the number of units needed to cover a shape. Um, the units must be the same size and the units must be congruent. Congru congruent is the same. You can find the area of a shape by counting how many units cover it. Generally speaking, area is discussed as squares. How many squares fit together to cover an area. So if we were to be looking at the area of this shape and we would count the number of units, square units, that would be used to cover this shape, and as you can see these squares are in fact um, the same size and are congruent so they meet our criteria, we would just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this patio, the area of this patio, would have six square units. If we were to look at this shape and try to find the area of this rectangle, you could count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and it is twelve square units as the area. Or what you can actually realize is four group rows of three, four groups of three would be the same as four times three, which is twelve. Um, and that works for rectangles. Uh, take a moment and practice finding the area of these shapes, all of them. In these cases, A, B, and C, you're counting or finding out the area of the blue filled in area. Not all of it is just put into squares for you already. Press pause and try that now. All right, let's take a look. Well, if we were to count one, two, three, four by three, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It does have an area of 12 square units. Um, in this case, I'm going to try just the multiplying trick. So I have 2 on one side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So 2 times 10, which would be 2 rows of 10, which would make it 20 square units. Here we are going to multiply again. We have 2, so 2, and we have 3 across, so 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 square units. Yes, if I count, I do in fact have 6. When it is an irregular shape or not a rectangle, you cannot multiply. You have to just count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This one would have an area of 7 square units. Same thing with this C, because it's not filled in here, we are only counting the shaded parts. Uh, we cannot multiply, we have to just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 square units is the area for this shape. Right, now you are ready to move on to practicing page 151, 152, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Make sure that when you are finished, you check and hand in. As you're working, of course, if you have any questions, please stop and ask those. Thank you.